Hi, hello. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? How is everyone? Happy Friday. Okay, so let's give people like five minutes to join so we can get started. Hi, hello. Oh, thank you, Betty. So we'll start soon. Please bear with us. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. Good afternoon. So once it's one o three, we can start. I could see good afternoon. Okay, sorry about that. Apologies. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, so my name is Bolatwe. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. My name is Bolatwe Ayinde, and welcome to another session on Ask HR. Now, sometime this week, you were given the opportunity to ask questions, and I already have a list of questions here that I will be answering today. So welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining now so I'll get right into it and um, the first question i have is is it possible for someone outside nigeria to get a job in nigeria yes absolutely it is possible for someone outside nigeria to get a job in nigeria all you have to do is ensure that you leverage on your network you know make sure that you're using um how will i say now social media is it has broken all the geopolitical barriers that you can ever think of. So you can easily reach out to a recruiter here in Nigeria and let them know that, oh, you're, op you're open to opportunities in Nigeria. So yes, it's like very, very easy. Now you also have to reflect on your skills. Now, whenever you see a job, you can easily apply as well, but also reflect on the type of skills you have and the skills required to be able to excel on the job. So yeah, it is prepare your CV, apply, and don't worry, you'll pass. If they like your CV, if they like you, they'll call you for an interview and you're good to go pretty much it. So don't think like you have to bring something more than your American accent or your British accent to the table. You have to be able to like bring more to them so that yeah, they can give you the job. Now, someone else asked the question, is finding a job a lot harder now? No, so I'm trying to, this is talking more about the pandemic. Well, I wouldn't say finding a job is harder. I would just say it is more intentional. Now you don't, um, you're, it's not going to be like before the pandemic whereby you're relaxing and a job like might easily would have come to you. Now you have to be more intentional about it. Now, if you were with me last time I came on live here, I told you so I taught you some recruitment process tips that you could work on pretty much it so you have to be deliberating your actions now I told you one you have to get comfortable networking online now I know that there's coffee again in Lagos State so you can't just be going out you know you can't just be going to clients offices or you know companies because here yeah, I'm looking for a job now what you have to do is ensure that you leverage on your network LinkedIn is a good place. Facebook is a good place. You know, these recruiters are there. These employers are there. So you have to ensure that you build a conversation. You join the groups, you know, professional groups. Build a conversation there. Like, comment, 
basically you're trying to like expose yourself you're trying to ensure you're, you're trying to ensure that people see you these recruiters they see you now before you do that ensure that your linkedin profile is good like it's going to sell you out because you don't just want to um not have an optimized profile and then you're trying to like get a job it's not going to land you a good job it's not going to land you that strange job so one thing you want to do first before you start networking with people is to ensure that your linkedin profile is optimized you know and then you can start reaching out to recruiters you know meeting people introducing yourself to people letting them know that oh this is what i do you know and all that so it's just easy you know you can also let them know that i'm open to opportunities and yes yeah, some of them will keep you in mind so another thing is gather intel now the whole pandemic that's happened you know it has given you most companies have been pushed to the digital space so now it has made your search very easy so all you have to do is you know go on social media find out how has um how has the management been dealing with their employees during this period have they been supporting their employees during this period what has the company been up to during this period because every company basically is still trying to tell you that oh we're very much in business even though there's pandemic we're very much in business we're here don't like don't let it look like oh we're not working we're not doing anything so pretty much it makes your search easier it makes it faster because even the employees are forced to go online you know to to be consistent online and then you can ask one or two people oh how is it what's the work culture in your office and you know it just basically helps you so when it comes to like now that you're when it comes to like maybe you you've gotten the interview with such company you know when you're talking to them and you're letting them know that oh because i have so much like i have interest in your company i've been following your company starting from march 2020 up until now and then they find out that oh this is like your consistency has basically worked for you it, it makes them more attracted to you because they can see that oh even though you're not in the company you've been following their progress and yes it helps you now reflect now as a job seeker like i said before you don't just apply for any jobs in this era you have to sit down and reflect what exactly do i want what career path do i want you know you have to outline it if it's something that you have to start with your talent or what is attracting you what motivates you everything that will just break it down for you to have that defined career path you have to do it you know talk to people you know maybe i'm saying oh you're saying that oh i want to start a marketing career what do i need what skills do i need what certification what certificates do i need so you have to be able to build yourself those are things that you also have to do now boost your skills you need skills whatever job you're going to get in this era you need skills and it's very easy we at Jobberman were offering free soft skills training what is soft skills training soft skills training basically are trainings that they would not teach you in school they wouldn't teach you in the office but there are things that employers employers think they feel you should know these things so that it will be able to help you help help you you know do your job well and you know relate more with people so basically visit www.jobberman.com slash soft skills to be able to to enroll today it's for free we're not charging anything and then you get your certificates it is for you when they see that you are you are soft skills certified an employer also gets attracted to you because they're like oh i feel he i feel she has the necessary soft skills ready for you know the job the role and all of that now also you still need technical skills that you need to learn so if you're a content person you still need your seo you still need your scm you still need all of that so you have to do your research as well and then get everything that you need so that you can be able to process all this to make it easier for you you know these are things that when you put on your cv it makes you like it sells you automatically so like i said getting a job this era is not hard it just has to be a deliberate effort so if you're deliberate about it trust me you'll land your job now the next question here is would jobs still make nyc a prerequisite site um no i don't think jobs will make nyc a prerequisite site now normally every job ad that you see they'll let you know if they need you to have done nyc or not so you have to be able to read them carefully so that you can know that oh this job requires an NYC certificate. This one doesn't require an NYC certificate. So either way, you will know it's always in the job description. It's always in the job ad. So just just ensure that you read it well, then you'll see it. Now, for some jobs that don't require NYC, 
now lower certificate jobs that's basically nd nsc and ssa so those ones don't require nsm nysc certificate because they know that you have not it's not like hnd where you've already done where you've done your hnd you've not done it so they're not expecting so and you will see it there they will tell you oh this job the qualification is nd they need nd people they need ssa people so yeah you can do that then internships they know that you are that you're still in school so, you know that's um they still know that you're in school so pretty much you don't need your nyc certificate to to um to apply for them and if you just want to be clear if they reach out to you you can easily ask oh do you need um do you need nyc certificates for this role do i need it for this role and you know they'll let you know it's pretty simple they wouldn't hoard such information from you now somebody else is asking what is the current cv format well there is no current cv like i know you're expecting me to say oh your cv should look like this or like that but no i can only give you tips on what should be on your cv to help you something that will sell you more to you know hiring managers to basically you know to hiring managers pretty much um so there's no standard formats per se but what i need you to have on your cv is your contact information now i know a lot of people put their state of them um, they put their state of origin they put their date of birth i don't think those things are needed if any employer needs you to let them know like your state of origin they're going to ask for it and then it's something that you easily give them i remember when we were doing the union bank um graduate training you know we needed them we needed this information and we put it there so when you're submitting your cover letter you just let us know that oh this is my full name this is my state of origin this is where um my current state that's where i live you know and your phone number so pretty much they answered that with their cover letter so we people don't need all those informations you know your hobbies no don't pull that so your contact information basically is your full name you know you can pull that there you know your address wherever you live you put it there your email address your phone number and yes you can put a link to your linkedin profile on it as well so that they can see oh okay i can easily go to your linkedin profile to know more about you so pretty much that is what your contact information should have now your profile summary your profile summary your profile summary basically is like a trailer to you know the way you watch trailers to you know movies and all that that's how it is so it covers your years of experience it covers some of your skill sets it covers some of your achievements you know basically it gives the recruiter it gives the hiring manager an idea of you know what you do professionally so if it comes like oh a higher you know um i know i want to know that you're, you're, a rec you're a recruiter it's just easy you know it's out there in your profile summary it is clear and you know it's concise you know you're not beating around the bush let them know what you've done let them know what you can achieve you know if you're a sales person if you're a marketing person that you deal with numbers you know let the numbers that you know that you've achieved let them work you know put it there you know numbers pop people are attracted and say oh i worked the, with this i grew the time i grew the revenue from you know maybe from 4 million to 15 million per month you know it's attractive so yeah please ensure that it's not a lie because they will catch you so always say the truth as well if you did not do that there's no harm there just let them know what you do pretty much it and it works for you now your skill set now your skill set basically still covers your the soft skills and the technical skills now you have to highlight it for these people to see what okay well, these are the skills i have you know and all that if you want to see employee my engagement for hr managers you put it there if you want to say recruitment you put it there onboarding and offboarding those are skills that you know you're selling yourself for developers you can say python java um you can say laravel you know you say all the things that you know that oh these are things that i'm good at and i know that every hiring manager every recruiter that sees this and is looking to fill the role of this 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 and they see my skill set yes they'll be interested in you know going further down into your maybe your achievements you can put that there as well and then your professional experience now when you're highlighting your professional experience you start from the most recent role so if maybe your most recent role was in 2000 and um, let's say um, two years ago, that's 2018, 
fine, put it there. If they need to ask why from you've not um, you've not you've not been working from 2018 now, they'll ask you and it's good. So start from the highest, like your most current one to the least like the least one. So basically what I'm going to say again about your C V is that please make your CVs um let it be targeted to the role that your employee like you're applying for. So if you're applying for a sales role, ensure that you have like a sales C V. Let it sell the role. Like let it sell you in this role. So don't just have okay because I'm seeing professional experience now. I'm applying for the role of a sales manager and then I'm talking about you see in 2002 or let's say in 2012 I was the HR personnel in so 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 ABC and A B and C company blah 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 you've already distorted the whole thing so just ensure you know you have a space where you can put other experience you don't need to elaborate on them just put them dead so that it's not like oh you didn't work or something but then ensure that it is sales related how you started from being a sales analyst to being a sales associate to being a sales manager regional manager and all of that so yeah you can do that as well now don't forget like i said numbers pop numbers pop a lot so yeah please put in numbers you know if you if you have targets that you meet and you know all of that put in the numbers and basically you just want to sell yourself so you have to do that now your academic history is simple so you don't have to write your primary school nobody is interested in your primary school you can start with your secondary school it's fine then Maybe your not when you did your BSc, your MSc, and your PhD, you can put that there. It's fine. No offense, you know. Put it there with the um with the degree, the school, and the year. So yeah, you can do that. Now I noticed that some people put industry awards, you know, professional certifications. You can put your professional certifications on your CV. But for like industry awards, you can also put that more on like LinkedIn because one thing you're trying to do again is to ensure that your CV is not too long. And then you're just boring out the hiring manager or the recruiter and then they just pass by it. So you're trying to make it concise. Most times we advise people that your CV should not be more than three pages, pretty much. So yeah, you can put your publications, conferences attended, put those ones on LinkedIn. Then put your trainings and your qualifications on your CV and your references. You can easily see available on requests, pretty much. And if you if you feel like oh you want to put the details yeah go ahead and put the details so pretty much that is what your cv should entail so that you can sell yourself better now another person asked is there truly a hiring freeze in the in the light of the recent happenings so i'm thinking this person is still talking about the pandemic pandemic has lasted for a while now this is like the ninth month counting from march and i don't think that companies should still be experiencing this hiring freeze per se. I know that a lot of companies have started um, employing, you know, they started recruiting because come on, there are a lot of skills, there are a lot of things that they need to achieve. Pandemic should not be the one to stop you from achieving your business goal. So I pretty much think that if they still want to remain in business, yeah, the hiring, and the hiring freeze stage is over. So they are not doing that anymore. So yeah, you can still apply for roles pretty much. Um, so if maybe company A is not recruiting, it's not only company A that is doing a, a particular job, you know, you can easily Google competition, um, competitors and then apply to the apply to the other companies. Pretty much is not a this thing. So somebody says um, he or she wants to know how virtual interview works. Now virtual interview basically is pretty much the same thing as an as a physical interview the only difference is that you are using a video software so you're either using google hangouts or you're using zoom to attend to this um to attend to these interviews now pretty much you need to ensure that you have a working system thank god for smartphones now so you don't need to always open your computer once you know that your phone is good you can always you know use it for what um, for your interviews ensure that so i'll just give you a list now so one is test your technology ensure that you you know some of these apps will ask you you need to be connected you need to give them access to your microphone and your camera and so basically you need to ensure that you give them access i've had some interviews that some people did not give and um, did not give access and then you're talking but we cannot hear you or we cannot see you so ensure you test these things days before or a day before or even an hour if you try the day before try it again an hour before 
to ensure that yes this thing is working do you understand yeah and it's cool so ensure you test the technology now to keep your virtual identity professional people i cannot overemphasize this i've had some people come up with names like remy soft baby your favorite light-skinned girl yeah cool we're not interested in that what is your name because i don't know am i meant to call you your favorite light-skinned girl i need to know your name pretty much my name is bulwatwe Ainde. keep it simple your zoom profile should be Ainde bulwatwe you know you can do all your light skin girl on your you know your instagram or your facebook but when it comes to you know zoom you're using it to attend interviews you're using google hangouts to attend interviews please ensure like your identity is professional now dress for success now you don't um when you're when you're attending virtual interviews you're going to turn on your camera so you need to dress the part you need to play the part you don't come looking on camp and all of that so you really need to dress well even if they say oh you don't need to put on your camera it's fine maybe because of network issues but that's like one out of how many really because you also need to test that your network is working well now how to create a set for instance so you don't um you don't just you have to look for a good place you know but the background is cool nothing is distracting your um nothing is in, um, distracting the uh, interview panel you know everything is cool yeah it it really doesn't cost a lot you know you just have to like get a stand i wish i could show you my set right now but um let me see if i can i have um pretty much somewhere it's going to start everything sorry but you have to just ensure like i have a stand where i have my phone and the laptop right in front of me so yeah pretty much just arrange yourself before your interviews then monitor your body language now sometimes the body language can be very somehow and it, it can it has put a lot of people into trouble you know it makes when someone is reading your body language it's like oh no she's sussy she's this she's that it's because of the way your body language has you know been speaking to them so you have to be cautious about it it's simple i can see myself the way i'm talking to you like so i'm conscious of the fact that i don't want to be like oh my god so you do this you do that you know no bitchy attitude you have to be calm you know you have to be cool be collected and let people know that oh you don't even mean bad even with your body language sometimes it betrays us but pretty much try to you know stay composed stay relaxed and don't give up the wrong the wrong vibe now get rid of distractions i know sometimes job seekers you know we might have maybe little ones running around your phone your tv you know everything is just maybe your phone is ringing and your baby is crying you know you have to like already get rid of all these things before the interview so that you can run through it as quickly as possible sometimes it doesn't even span up to an hour but then you can do everything and you know get back to your normal life now practice answers to common interview questions link them google is your friend you know they are simple there are several questions that they ask you you know if you type it there you'll see some interview questions if you do not know the answer it's simple you have friends that you can reach out to you know that can probably help you how do i answer this question what are my strengths what are my weaknesses you know those are things that will help you to like evaluate and you know practice and know exactly what to say when you know it's time for the interview now you have to follow up when after an interview maybe in five days in three days time you know five days time if they've not gotten back to you follow up they've not told you you've been rejected or you've been accepted is it's not a bad thing you should follow up with them and you know move on so you know oh, did i did i pass did i fail and you're not just you're not hurting yourself and thinking that oh i'm sure i killed the interview and then you know five days time you're not following up one month you're not following up you're still thinking oh i have this job i've secured this job so pretty much put yourself out of the mystery and um, the misery follow follow up on these people and let them know i didn't pass i didn't feel nothing spoiled you move on pretty much that's it now the next question here is how do i politely request someone to find me a placement in the company they work for or head now I'll ask you two follow-up questions now is the company currently recruiting then two do you have the desired skill set so don't waste somebody's time to put in a word for you and all that ask the person oh are they recruiting what roles are they recruiting for oh they're recruiting for a, a marketing manager oh nice can i get the job description the person sends you the job description you go through it and then you're like oh i'm not cut out for this i don't have this i don't have that fine but then if you know that oh 
oh i have the skill sets required you know they're recruiting yay good thing it's simple you know if he's maybe your friend you know we are informal with these things but you need to let the person know that you're serious you know have a one-on-one -on -one chat to the person oh hi nikki what's up yeah i heard your company is recruiting for this role for that role and these are the skill sets i have you know ensure that you have your um your cv it is readily available send it to the person um, it will be nice for you to you know to put in a word for me and all of that pretty much then if you don't know the person that you have to send an email i'm going to be reading it out to you so it should have the conversation should go around this so hello like i said i use nike so hello nike i hope you're doing well i'm reaching out to let you know that i am interested in changing jobs at this time thus i'm currently exploring different opportunity in the marketing industry for example that's if the that's this if that's the industry you're looking to explore now since i know you've worked in the industry for quite a while i thought you'd be a perfect person to get in touch with now if you become aware of any um, any open roles that might be a good fit for someone with a background in you put the field your field say there may be communication and specialist skills in put the skills that you have there maybe it's pp there say ppt sorry maybe it's java laravel put all those things there and a desire to learn I'd love it if you could give me a heads up. You can also find my resume attached to this email to get a better understanding of what I bring to the table. Now, so you go further to say, I can't tell you how much I appreciate any help as I work on making this switch. Thank you so much, Nikkei. All the best. My name, Goluatwe Aindi. Pretty much, that's simple. Attach, don't forget to attach your CV and hit the send button. So that person gets it and, you know, if the person is like your G, be serious, your G alpha. If you want to treat it and a fine job or you know that kind of thing that kind of thing so and another thing i feel is that people should not be afraid to talk don't be afraid to speak up nobody's going to job and judge you everybody's always looking for like a better opportunity and if you don't know who can give you like who will be but oh my company is actually recruiting or send your cv now i'll put in a good word for you so don't be shy about it is not is not a bad thing to be very honest to so be open anybody they always say a closed mouth is a closed destiny so you need to open your mouth and let people know that oh this is it i mean them i'm in search of this and that so pretty much that answers that question now the next question here is i hardly see jobs on your platform for undergraduates why this is what I'm going to say to you if you're the one that asked that question. I'm very sure there are jobs on the platform for undergraduates. You know, last month somebody just concluded the, um, a graduate um, a graduate training. Oh, sorry, undergraduate. Oh, there are, there are jobs for undergraduates on our website. Luckily for you, we are um, we are launching a we're we're launching an internship program the um lagos state and is going to launch we're launching it today so stay tuned on our social media um pages if you have not opened a profile go open a profile so that you can get our newsletter um, newsletter subscribe so that you can also always know what is going on in our in our organization and not miss out on any you know openings and all of that so please do that then if you assess that pretty much you give up too early like if you scroll through you have like over a hundred pages there on our website that has some um, job openings so if you give up on page five and maybe the job opening is on for undergraduate is on page six you pretty much won't say because you've already given up so just take your time like i always tell people if you're looking for a job job search itself is a nine to five you have to sit down you know and look for the job well like take your time look for the job don't it's not something that you it's not like in that you quickly make uh -uh. You take your time you know you go through everything the job descriptions different portals and then we're good to go so another question here is even without enough experience required how do i sell myself to get the job now to answer your question is this now you might not have um you have the without enough experience required okay maybe they're asking for two years experience you have three how do you sell yourself pretty much let me use marketing again if you're maybe you're, you saw a marketing opening that you're interested in and you're applying for it now you have to read through the um the the requirements what do they require and all of that so 
go through them then go and meet someone i know i don't i know that you have friends like even if you don't have friends you might know somebody that knows somebody in marketing you know in the marketing industry that can help you out so you know ask questions okay oh i i'm about to apply for this marketing role please what are the things i need to know you know things that will help me certifications it's basically you're not like you're thinking beyond the now you're thinking for the later so that if it's like okay in if you go for the interview and they're asking you okay so what are your plans you know that oh i need this certificate i need this i need that i need that and then it's something that you already know from the beginning and it's something that you're already working on and to give you a good example i had someone reach out to me um sometime last month and she was like oh tife like i saw this opening for social media slash content development and i'm interested in it and i'm like okay cool and she was like but i have no idea i have nothing about it but this is something that i'm interested in so i told her okay read this read that you know sent her some links told her to build her skills you know let them have let them know that you have an idea of what you're talking about so you're not just coming to the table and you're know, bland and you're asking questions and you're like huh so you're familiar oh I haven't worked on this, but I know what this is about. You know, you're making it open. So it's now left to them if they want to employ you or not. But then you have to gather all the information that you can get concerning that particular career or in the career part or industry that you're trying to delve into and ensure that you use it best, like you use it well. So you garnish your CV, you know, apply for the job. When you get called for an interview, those information, information doesn't go to waste. Let's be very honest. It's something that you can still use. 10 years from now, you know, this is thing then this is something that's been working for you, you know, and then you continue to move forward in it. So pretty much, yes, you can sell your job, even though the experience they require is small. Um, so the next question here is, I love your online energy, honestly. Do you have plans to tap into Uganda too? Thank you so much for following. Thank you for always following us. And yes, we have a sister company in Uganda. So basically, they go by the name Brighter Monday. So you can go to Google, Brighter Monday Uganda, and bam, you know, pretty much. Their website is brightermonday.co.ug. So if you're in Uganda and, you know, you're looking for a website, a platform that, you know, shows you job opportunities and all that for you to apply, come on. Brighter Monday is your friend. They will help you with that. So another question here is, can my potential employer believe in me for a job? without them looking at my academic papers. Now, honestly, this is like a proper Nigerian graduate story because most people that I know, I've had people that, you know, did maybe medicine and right now they're into content, they're into marketing because at the end of the day, when they left school, you know, when they leave school and, you know, you come to the real world and you see like, ah, Omar, if they say that four years I've spent in school, that five years I've spent in school, it's not working for me, you know. You go into something else, you know. Developers, most of them do not do computer science. Most of them do not do computer engineering, but they just have a passion for it, and you know, it's something that they built. You know, this, they built the skills over time, and lo and behold, they are here. You know, making money. So yeah, most of them, you know, beyond your um, academic papers, you know, what are you looking out for? Oh, I maybe, for instance, I studied com mass communication in school, you know, I felt like uh, by the time I come out, I want to be a presenter, you know, hosting shows, you know, doing a lot of things. And then I came out into the real world, even if I started, I didn't even start basically with the whole presentation and all, but I also started building myself. I went to National Broadcast Academy, went through the presentation course, you know, did that, you know, came out. And then I landed, um, the first job I had was content development. So, you know, I started pushing that, but I realized that this is not what I, I, have, a, I have a flair for it, yes, but this is not what I want. You know, it wasn't giving me a sense of fulfillment. So yeah, and then I switched into HR. So uh, when I was coming into job man, they didn't look at me like, oh, you studied mass comm, you can't do this role because you didn't do HR, or you can't do this role because so, but pretty much what I would say again is that when I was coming, when I was delving into HR, I had to start from scratch. So I entered, you know, we, um, we, um, I entered, I started with an internship with the company. So that's what you have to do. You have to be humble enough, you know, throw away the number of years you've had, you know. You're doing internship, not all companies will pay you, you know, the thousands of nairas that you like, naira that you've been earning, you know, because it's an internship program. So you have to be humble and, you know, 
apply for this and that is if you really 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 want to get a job that is outside but you've probably you know learned in school and all of that don't forget you know you have to take certifications you know you have to do all of that just like i said have someone that you talk to your mentor you know your friends friends that will give you good advice please have them you know tell them about it oh this is it i want to push you because even me when i wanted to push you um, a career in hr you know i called my really close friends and i told them ah, guys oh it's like this thing is not working for me anymore this is what i want and then you know we talked about it okay where do what do you have you know the certificates you have to take and all of that so you, ha you need people like that they'll be able to advise you and you know pretty much so if you are probably in a company and you know you can easily just let them know that oh okay well, just in case i can volunteer you know to this i have like an interest in this you know volunteer so you start learning the skills that you need you get them small 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 they say little drops of water does what it makes a mighty ocean so pretty much start learning small small then when you get an opportunity come on it's time for you to spread your wings and fly away so yeah you can get a job now the other question here is job interviews freak me out even when i prepare well how do I get a job without doing one? This is Nigeria. I won't lie to you. You will not get a job. Hardly. You will not even get a job without doing an interview. Let me not lie. But I feel, in my sense, I feel this person is going through imposter syndrome. You know, there are people that, you know, they are different. There are like five characters there. And then, you know, you have this, um, you have this, uh, I don't feel like, I'm not up to it. Like, um, how will I say this word? Like, um, um excuse me i'm trying to get the perfect work like maybe um i don't i'm not like her huh, the word has failed me but basically what you're feeling you the, the the way you feel basically is more like um that you can't do it you know it's just like that voice in your head that is saying oh no you can't do it you can't do this so one thing you have to do is get over it you know it's a syndrome it's, it's a thing of the mindset so if you have to do this personal awareness assessment first and let you know that so you'll be able to identify what syndrome exactly which is it in this am i you know there's the perfectionist you know there's is there's, there's at least there are about five of them so you have to identify the one that talks to you first then you now go on to your you know how can i get over this you know and then have someone that you talk to, someone that you trust, someone, you know, you also build yourself, go in front in, in front of the mirror and tell yourself, I can do this. Irrespective of the voice in your head telling you that, no, you can't do this, you are not cut out for this, or you don't have the right skill, you don't, you know, it's just a thing that you might play some funny, funny games sometimes, but then you go in front of the mirror. If it's the word of assurance that you need to keep telling yourself every day, keep telling yourself, that every day and then it's you know you're telling yourself then you also have to practice call your siblings let them sit down you know form hiring panel in your house maybe two people three people your friends your neighbors get questions from google tell them to ask you randomly and you know that way you're getting familiar with it you're getting familiar with the whole situation the hiring panel um idea you know how questions can be coming from left right front and back you know you're already getting familiar with it and then it will be easier for you to you know attend your interviews so like i said still just take a deep breath because if you think you're going to get a job without going through an interview i don't think that's going to happen it's not going to happen here in nigeria and come on this is 2020 you need to get that dream job 2020 has actually almost finished so 2021 are you going to still suffer yourself from getting your dream job no so you need to start working on it you need to improve so that you can get your dream job and then you're happy you know it's a story that you tell people eventually now another question here is are there opportunities in job man yes there are opportunities in, there are opportunities in job man please check our website and then you can apply for such positions then another one the final question i have here is how can i get a job as a fresh graduate simple fresh graduate whatever do you have one one question did you do it do you have experience if you don't have how do you want to start getting the experience you have to apply so there are graduate training jobs that you can apply for we concluded one last month so it's something that you can always keep checking web portals you know all these websites keep checking them we'll always see graduates 
training programs that you know you can apply for it might not be to maybe access bank that you know or zenith bank you know all these banks it might be some other organizations that are really that interested in recruiting graduates so you have to be intentional like i said again so that you can get graduate jobs and come on you know it's not it doesn't hurt to aspire like i said when i when i when i left school you know i applied I apply it's word of mouth to be very honest my friend got a job before me and you know i i was you know i went to um look for one vocation now so i went to learn makeup and i didn't little did i know that that makeup what i learned was going to get me my first job but i went about it you know going to the i finished in november you know going to the studio every day you know to learn something and by february ending my friend calls me like yo tife my company is my company is recruiting you know and because you just learned makeup you can do makeup i feel like you're like going to be good for the role don't worry i've you know spoken to them and everything just send me your cv and blah 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 and pretty much that's what i did i remember that my interview spanned for like three days and i think it was like come on three days and then i got the job so pretty much you know learn something you know it might not even be you might not get a job based on your academic qualification what you came out your degree but you might get a job it might be you might be interested in something else that you really want to explore explore so you also have internships that you can um you can apply for pretty much and you know start and then you will blow you know the path to success is straight straightforward so pretty much that's all the questions i have don't forget that Lagos state is in partnership with job man and so they are so for you to participate in this internship you have to take our soft skills training so please 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 go ahead and take the soft skills training so you can take the test and then when they request for interns we can easily send you to them but if you don't take the soft skills training there's no way you'll be able to participate in this it's free nobody's charging you and you're good to go sorry i have a question here I have a problem. I have no experience at all. How do I even apply for jobs that need years of experience? So you have to start from scratch. You don't just expect, you know, when, how do I say this? Um, it's like when you give birth to a baby, the baby doesn't just start, ex the baby doesn't expect to start running. You see some of them say they have the ginger, they're always doing like, oh, 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 I'm ready to like run or something. But no, that's not how it works. You start from crawling. Then you try to balance your feet, then walking, then you can run. So that's how you have to start. You have to start from internships, you know. Maybe volunteer, you know, start from internships. You, there are even jobs that, that don't require a number of years of experience at all. You'll see them there. So you have to be able to read these job descriptions as well. So that when you get to the qualifications, like what they need, you can see. You see zero to one year experience. People are getting the jobs. So don't carry last. Please don't carry last. Pretty much, I've answered all the questions here. We have less than 20 minutes more. If you have any question, you can ask me now. So, else, we'll call it a day. Till next time. So, I've answered. Don't forget your soft skills training. Now, if you need help with your CV, that's one thing I did not talk. This is one of our services here in Chopperman. It's simple send an email to cvs that cvs at jobberman.com it comes at a cost but you will get a professional cv that will also sell you and um, that will also sell you to recruiters and job seekers so don't forget to do that that's very important cvs that cvs at jobberman.com yeah send an email to them somebody will reach out to you soft skills training is soft skills forward slash um, jobberman.com forward slash soft skills for you to join the training and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter because you need to know new things. You need to know what's going on. More information will be out concerning this internship. And if you're not subscribing to our newsletter, how do you want to know? Well, follow us on social media as well. We also push out information there. Um, thank you very much. No question. I can't see any question coming in. If you... Okay. Sorry. I have to keep scrolling. So someone asks, what about those that have knowledge based about hmm, what about those that have knowledge base about sales but no working experience, but they have working experience relative to other fields? 
how will they go about it like i said you want to you want to delve into sales it's simple one ask questions what do i need to be a good salesperson you know you know you have self skills that you need to build as well rapport building you know you have to be able to persuade people sales you know you're dealing with money money is people don't easily want to part with their money so you have to learn all the skills as well get certificates there are things that they're going to teach you that will help you out you know in sales so yeah pretty much um i'm trying to see any other questions here the graduate training oh i see i'm trying to understand so currently i don't think we have any graduate training on the website but you have to keep checking i know we concluded one last month but you have to keep checking so that at least you'll be able to get more to get more openings on that hi please when is it going to well we're launching today so i'm pretty sure like i said ensure you follow subscribe to our newsletter and keep following us on social medias we're gonna push out more information about it so yeah <laughs> i got a question here how do i negotiate my first salary now this is you're going to do hard work here because first of all you're going to have to do like a salary survey i know it's hard for someone who is like yeah like salary survey okay how is this going to you know you have friends eh it's your first salary you have friends that say working so my friend that say working i have to ask her, i see concept how much are they paying you you know because i wanted to have an idea you call your friends how much are they paying you what industry are you working on do all those you know information how many years of experience do i have how many years of experience do i need to get to this particular money so you have to do all those things you know it's basically based on your skill set it's based on your years of experience as well so once you know all these things you are, you are confident enough to beat your chest and be like ah yes i want this i want that you know and then you'll be able to negotiate better um somebody's asking is it possible to get a job when you graduate the third class absolutely you can get a job you can get a job you can get a job i know a third class graduate now he's a pretty big man in lagos it's not a small person in mean cool cash so if you look at him you will know that oh he finished with a third class so what aside it has happened it has happened it's not something you lament or cry you know it's like crying over spilled milk you already have the third class how do i move forward these people are asking for this these people are asking for that <laughs> go ahead do a masters do something do something that will boost you up so it's now way past your third class like go beyond it like it has happened it has happened let it go do something else that will help you you know develop skills that will help you and then you'll be able to get it and you'll be able to get a better job um so um okay yeah somebody also is saying that you should check our blog you know we have useful um, helpful tips there that you know how to them attend an interview you know necessary things that you need to know we have all those things up there so yeah you can do that um less than 15 minutes now to go if you have any other question please let me know before or we call it a day oh someone says i love your hair thank you thank you so much thank you any other question let me know let me know so for the third class person pretty much do not i don't like do not dwell on it it is it has happened there are people that even first class that they have in my cousin had the first class in, in building tech today she's a banker but it waits four years she has wasted four years so my dear move past it you you do other things go to your masters go you know get certificates what parts do you want is it sales is it hr hr go and do a phr right straight up so apply for a job you have it you are certificate so they won't tell you no you cannot give you the job because you got it just past no they've moved past you've moved past it so yeah and it's a story that you'll be able to tell people that uh see all these things you will do it and then you get some people are laughing but that's that's the truth now so all right all right 10 minutes to go 10 minutes to go any other question any other question let's see any other question um so if i don't get any other question in two minutes we will call it a day so till next time don't forget you know we'll always 
uh, you always have the opportunity again to ask us questions feel free ask us you know questions that are troubling you questions you need answer you need answer to you know feel free ask and we'll collate them and come again and we'll talk about it so you have more light you need to get a job this is 2020 you know need to have a sense of fulfillment pretty much so yeah so someone just asked the question <laughs> so this is quite tricky because the person says please i desire and want to volunteer to work for jobberman an accounting intern will i be accepted right now we're not looking for but it's not only jobberman that you can you know volunteer to work for you know or you know you get pretty much it's not only jobberman there are other companies that you can if i say no to you what happens what will you do next my advice check another Check another, um, check another, check another organization. You know, you might just be lucky, and somebody is interested. And somebody is interested. Oh, really? Accountant? Come on, come on, board and you know, tell your friends to so talk to your friends, especially your friends that are working. They don't even need to be working. Some of them know somebody that knows somebody. You know, all these job interviews and job vacancies. People just post. I post them randomly on my own page when I see and I post. I'm like, you know, I don't know who is looking for what, but. If I can help you find like a dream job just by posting that doesn't cost me anything, I'm gonna do that for you. So yeah, so be open about it. Somebody is saying to fair, when is next time? Next week is next time. Next week is next time. Alright, nine minutes to go. Thank you so much. Thank you for participating. Thank you for joining. Thank you for asking questions. This has been an interesting session. I hope you learned something from here and we'll see i will see you later i'm trying to give room for people who have questions to drop it before i go fresh graduates without experience how can you meet up hmm. like i said some jobs don't require experience i've seen a lot of them i won't say a couple to be very honest couple is two i've seen a lot of them that say zero to one year experience so yeah you will find you will find it's just something that oh you have to be deliberate about it like i said this time you have to be deliberate about you know looking for jobs sheila has already said you volunteer you can volunteer somewhere and then it also helps you to you know get skills i know a lot of people are chasing money now but for real if you check it you will get this money you will make this money after you make this money you will not find out that it's not even you're not spending the money on yourself you're spending it on people you're spending it on outside like you know your friends oh uh, half an hour come and borrow me 2k you give the best 2k you give the best and you're the one that is doing the hard work so volunteer gain all this you will still make this money i know sometimes they might not pay you when you volunteer but if it's money that is driving you now as a fresh graduate i don't think it's going to help you i won't lie to you but then i'm not saying let money not drive you but still know what you want and then work towards it. It's a step. It's a step. You keep going, you keep going, you keep going. So pretty much you're fine. All right. Yep. Queen says get soft skills certified. I'm not lying. You need that. You need it. You need it. It's for free. You're not we're not we're not charging you now. So free, free, free. Somebody says, I keep sending my resumes through my mail, but I'm not getting any response from recruiters. What can I do? How many? So let's say like this. How many times have you sent um, your CV? Are you sending to recruiters? Are you applying for a job? Because my own theory is this. If at least out of 10, if you send your email, your CV to 10 people, you apply for 10 different jobs, at least, at least let two people get back to you. But if they don't get back to you, now there's something wrong with your CV that you need to check is either your cv is not selling you very well if your cv is not selling you very well once they open you're like oh this is not this is not my candidates they swipe and they move forward you know they move on to the next thing so you have to you know reach out for help you know like i said cvs at jobberman.com reach out to them let them help you there's something probably wrong with your, your call letter so reach out to them so that they can help you um which job is available for now? Please feel free go to jobberman.com. There are jobs. There are jobs there. You know, go go there and apply. Um, yeah. So you see whatever you're looking for, whatever industry you're looking for, they're all there. They're all there. Um 
okay 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 thank you once again thank you thank you thank you this has been super interesting super interactive and we couldn't have done this without you so we've come back to say well thank you so um this is it i'll give you back five minutes of your day since no more question is here have a lovely weekend have a productive day today bye bye